there are few things more devastating than being in a car accident caused by a drunk driver. Drunk driving or driving under the influence occurs when someone operates a motor vehicle while his or her blood alcohol content BAC, is above the legal limit. The blood alcohol limit for California is set at 0.01%, zero tolerance, for those under 21, 0.04% for drivers of commercial vehicles, and 0.08% for all other drivers. To put this amount in perspective, a typical 120 pounds woman cannot consume two drinks over an hour and drive without being over the legal limit. Unfortunately, the statistics for drunk driving accidents are staggering. This year, 10,839 people will die in drunk driving car accidents, one every 50 minutes. One person is injured every minute in an alcohol-related car crash. Car accidents are one of the leading causes of death for teens, and one out of three of those accidents is alcohol-related. An average drunk driver has driven drunk 80 times before his or her first arrest. To win a car accident lawsuit, you must prove that the other driver was negligent, that is he or she failed to take proper care in doing something, and that this negligence caused the resulting injury. Once hit by a drunk driver, a victim should proceed as with any other car accident. The tasks of talking with witnesses and noting all evidence, as well as calling the police and taking pictures, are very important. Properly documenting the accident before you ever leave the scene is vitally important to winning a case against a drunk driver. There are instances where employers or employees who've served alcohol to excess can be held partially responsible for a drunk driving accident. In the Santa Clara County Superior Court case of Confidential v. Confidential, an employer was held liable when their employee hit and killed a 21-year-old female driver. If you or a loved one has been injured in an accident and you suspect the other driver is over the legal alcohol limit, you should call the police immediately. Have the police officer conduct a breathalyzer test on the suspected driver.